Wrapping up a cool and mostly cloudy day, especially this morning and midday where we were stuck with the clouds. And we even saw a few little hits of drizzle and light rain. Not a lot of rain expected here for our Friday. And sure enough, Mother Nature uh, not really delivering on that rain. But we are expecting to pick up on more rain as we get into Saturday night. And that's our next good push of wet weather Saturday night through Sunday. And then more scattered showers continuing into Monday and Tuesday. So for tonight and tomorrow, fairly dry weather currently over eastern Idaho and western Wyoming with temperatures at 46 degrees and winds out of the southwest at 8 miles an hour. We move it over to the Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam. We're at 49 degrees, winds out of the southwest 13 miles an hour. And we have mostly clear conditions tonight through the Snake River Plain with some clouds still hanging up around Jackson. 44 with winds at 13, breezy east of the Tetons right now. And then we go to central Idaho with a clear sky and salmon, 40, and winds out of the northeast at 10 miles an hour. So let's talk about the big picture here. So so we have several systems coming along the jet stream. Uh, some meteorologists calling this the atmospheric river. Well, we are just pulling in one system after another. And so we had the first system come through yesterday and a bit of today. Second system now starting to move some wet weather along the Oregon coastline and into Washington. And then we have a third system waiting in the wings. The first system, like I said, already departing, leaving us with some dry conditions tonight and tomorrow. But by tomorrow afternoon, the showers roll back in. That continues into Sunday morning. Then we have the third front that starts to get in here for Monday and Tuesday which will keep the winds in place and also the shower threat stretching to the middle of next week. Here's a look at the Vipercast tonight. We have clouds out there rolling back in for tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy for your Saturday morning, but not a lot of wet weather. Then we get to the midday hours for tomorrow. We start seeing hints of wet weather in places like Salmon, Chalice, Stanley, and then also starting to get some of that wet weather towards Island Park and West Yellowstone. The showers will start to get down into the lower elevations of the Snake River Plain as we go into late afternoon and early evening hours here for Saturday, and some of the showers could pick up in intensity overnight into early Sunday. We do have some snow, but we're talking still pretty high up in elevation. We're not expected to see a lot of threats for snowy weather here in the forecast, just a lot of rain. And then more of the same here getting into Sunday and Monday with the wet weather coming in with the third cold front moving on shore, and that's going to keep showers with us through at least Tuesday. A look at the rainfall amounts. Uh, right now, we're not expected to see a ton of rain for Sunday morning, especially for the Snake River Plain. We'll get a lot more of that rain up towards places like Island Park and the some of the weather stations in areas of central Idaho, but we're also in Island Park mixing in some snow. But you'll see here on the snow model map that we're going to keep the snow primarily into those highest mountain peaks. We're going to look at that snow level right around 8,000 feet. 60 for Preston tomorrow with 54 for Lava in the mid 50s in Soda Springs with numbers tonight into the 20s and 30s. Temps in Rexburg, St. Anthony, 53 degrees. We're at 52 for Ashton and 48 in Dubois with the lower 50s towards Jackson. Jackson's eight day forecast. We got the upper 40s in there for Sunday and Monday. Gusty winds and occasional showers to take us to the start of the work week. And then we have temperatures dropping down to the 30s by Thursday. Rexburg, a high of 53 for Sunday and the same for Monday with a high of 53. We've got showers and gusty winds out there. Overnight lows back into the 30s this weekend. Low 50s for highs tomorrow as we head into Mackey, Chow's, Salmon, upper 40s in Arco. And temperatures will start to pick back up a little bit here for Sunday and Monday, but we are expecting to see temperatures for salmon dropping down all the way back into the mid to lower 40s towards the mid to late part of next week. 55 for Idaho Falls tomorrow, 60 in Pocatello, 61 in American Falls. Here's your extended forecast as we take a look at Blackfoot. Watch out for the showers as we head to the weekend, but I think the biggest nuisance here really isn't going to be the rain. It's going to be the wind. And temperatures are still managing to get to 60 degrees tomorrow for Pocatello. It's just that we have to deal with that wind at times. And then we have the passing rounds of rain for Saturday night and Sunday morning. High of 56 for Monday. And then we're dropping down some cold air from the north as we head into next week with highs in the 40s. Idaho Falls, your eight-day forecast, 55 degrees and 54 for this weekend. We have temperatures scaling back down to the lower 40s and upper 30s by about Wednesday and Thursday as we roll into next week. So we lose the stormy weather, we lose that wet weather, and then we start to see some cold temperatures roll on in, and that's normal. You know, we start to see the big drop after the storm passes, and it just gets cold and cold outside. You know, it could be like this all winter and be fine. <laughs> right? We get the snow above 8,000 feet, you know, so there's keep, your water source. Keep it up there, maybe get some on the slopes. It's cooler here. You get a little rain occasionally in the valley, and yeah. you don't have to scrape it off your windshield. And 
You don't have to shovel it out of your driveway. It's not a bitter cold, yep, you're right. Yeah. Okay. You can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Without <laughs> seeing your breath. Exactly. All right. Coming up, details on the Pocatello Veterans Day Parade. We will let you know some of the changes this year and the route for the parade. And this weekend, we turn back the clocks. Don't forget that. Find out when the observance of daylight saving time originated 